injured dozens on board. The Air Canada plane slid off the runway at Halifax International Airport. We get the latest tonight from NBC's Gabe Gutierrez. The Air Canada flight came down hard. Its nose broken off, one wing badly damaged. We have a report of a plane crash. We have an aircraft emergency. Airplane down. The Airbus A320 was flying from Toronto to Halifax, Nova Scotia, carrying 133 passengers and five crew members. We literally hit once and then crash. And then we just skidded for a very long time. When I hit my head, I just said, it's over. No way we were going to survive that. Authorities say the plane touched down short of the runway and skidded for 1,100 feet before it came to a stop. This caused uh, considerable damage to the aircraft and uh, the main landing gear came off at that point. Passengers say the plane hit a power line. The airport temporarily lost electricity. It was snowing, but the airline has not determined what caused the hard landing. It was safe to fly in this weather. The aircraft did circle for a period of time. At least 25 people were rushed to the hospital, many clutching blankets. All but one have been released. Incredibly, there were no serious injuries. Everybody started running. There was people running into the, off into the snow and banks and everywhere else. They didn't out to of the plane. There were sparks like, and there was smoke, and so we, we were worried about it, about an explosion. This is the second incident this month of a plane sliding off the runway during a snowstorm. Everyone also survived these harrowing moments at New York's LaGuardia Airport. Tonight, Air Canada says it's fully cooperating with the Transportation Safety Board to find out what went wrong. Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News.